Today I want to discuss the basics of roadway hierarchy. This is a really important concept to master if you want to make sure that your cities have traffic that functions correctly and that acts predictably. This is something that's not just important in the game, but it's also important in real life. Uh, in fact, the Federal Highway Administration keeps track of what they call functional class. And what functional class is, is it's a way to categorize the most important roads to the nation's economy, defense, and mobility. And to do that, they look at all uh, freeways, interstates, tollways, highways, arterials, and collectors and classify them on the national highway system. Now, the reason for that is because those are the types of roads that uh, prioritize mobility over access. And in the case of an emergency or in uh, the case of trying to get someone to their place of work, these are the roads that would be the most important. So what I have here is all of the different roadway classifications offered in city skylines, uh, categorized from the roadways that uh, prioritize mobility or getting someone from point A to point B quickly down to those that prioritize access or providing someone the greatest ability to reach a destination. Um, so it's important that you're using local roads, for instance, for access and highways and arterials for mobility and collectors uh, as the roads in between that connect a neighborhood to a an arterial that is prioritizing mobility. And if you use these incorrectly, what you'll end up with is traffic jams. So I've created an illustrative layout for a community. And what I've done here is follow the principles of functional classification. We have our highways, which connect up to our arterials, which connect up to our collectors, and our collectors collect up to our local roads. And what you'll see that I've done here is on our highways, there aren't a ton of exits. There are two exits here that meet up th with this arterial that rings the community. And the arterial has one, two, three, four, five, six points of access to it. The collectors have more points of access, but still fewer than the local roads, which basically provide access everywhere. And this is some, uh, an important concept to master, and that's access management. You want to uh, really think about the number of access points that you're providing to these different roadway classifications based on how high they are in the roadway hierarchy. The higher the classification, highways, arterials, the fewer access points you're going to want to have and the greater distance between those access points. As you get to lower classifications, such as collectors and local roads, you can have access that is more frequent and closer spaced. And so you'll see that with the collector roads here, I have, you know, what looks to be th uh, 30, uh, uh, 30 tile spacing right here, and I have uh, multiple local roads connecting in between. That's okay uh, because of functional classification and roadway hierarchy. So, um, I've already zoned this area and uh, what you'll notice is that along arterial roads I'm placing all, no housing. Uh, you can have some, um, you'll probably want it to be higher density housing, but the important thing to, to recognize is that with these higher roadway classifications you're going to have more traffic that's going faster, that is prioritizing zooming past the building and thus creating more noise. So uh, that sort of density of traffic is good if you're a business and bad if you want to live on next to that road. Uh, as you get to a, uh, a lower classification road, a collector, this might be more appropriate and it's certainly appropriate on a local road. Um, so I've, I've zoned these things uh, with that in mind. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this simulation quickly let it build out a little bit and we will see how our traffic looks.
Okay, so I think we've let this build out enough. Let's see how things are functioning. So we have 85% traffic flow without really doing anything. We have 9,500 citizens, and uh, generally there are just a couple areas where there's a great deal of traffic. And these are things that we could remedy with roundabouts, or if we had a modded version of the game, we could certainly uh, do some lane management and, and remedy some of this stuff. Um, the other considerations are, are that you could look at routing and, and see where people are going and try to make key connections either with overpasses or uh, underpasses or, or uh, just connections to other uh, local, uh, connecting local roads to collectors or things of that nature that would, would help improve traffic flow. Um, let's take a look at a couple other things. So noise. As you can tell, the noise is concentrated around the arterials and the collectors, which means that these local roads uh, that have uh, residential can level up a little better. And they'll be happier as a result. So things are functioning pretty well, and that's because of some of the decisions that we've made. Um, there are things that we could certainly do that would could improve things. Uh, and there are things that we could do that could make things worse. One of the things that could make things worse would be funneling. So you really want to avoid this. So let's say this ring road around the industrial area were an arterial instead of a collector. Well, if you're following the principles of roadway hierarchy, you should uh, know intuitively that there's a couple things you'll want to do such as eliminate all of these local roads that connect into that, uh, that arterial. But now uh, a savvy player would notice that there's only really one way out of this entire area. So that's something that you're gonna have to be aware of. Um, this will obviously completely break our traffic flow. Let's take a look. not working great uh, in this particular area. Interestingly, the average traffic flow is bouncing in between where we were and a little bit worse. Uh, but I assume that the longer we let this sim, the worse it will get because, and you see it now, it's backing up because we haven't allowed enough ways out of this neighborhood. Uh, so as a result, you want to really make sure that you are respecting roadway hierarchy. So let's take this back to where it should be. Ah, that's so much better. <laughs> I won't lie, that gave me a bit of a panic attack as a planner. <laughs> <laughs> zone. Some of the things that I didn't do that could improve traffic flow would be making sure that we have road maintenance depots and do not place these depots on arterials. Remember, this is a building that needs lots of access, so you'll want to place that on a local road. Now, I know it can be really tempting to place some of your major ploppable buildings on arterials. Uh, if you take a look at, let's say, a police, a police station, if you place it on the arterial, you'll notice that the access that you have to wide swaths of the city is higher. And that makes sense. The arterials have higher speeds, we have less intersections, and as a result, the impact is greater than placing it on a local road, for instance. However, these buildings have lots and lots and lots of sims loading from them. So if you place them on an arterial, you're gonna have all of that loading taking place on an arterial. And remember, the purpose of the arterial is mobility, not access. So what you'll see that I've done, I have a hospital here, but the hospital is facing the local road. And the local road is close to a collector and 
connects directly to an arterial so that I still get those benefits of being on an arterial while still getting the traffic that uh, I would hope to receive uh, in, in terms of traffic flow. So there are things that you can do like that that will improve the functionality of your game. The other thing to think about is that there are certain types of roads uh, that are collectors, like this road right here, but function as a local road or can function as a local road if you uh, maintain them correctly. So let's give this road priority as well as this road. And then we'll take a look at our junctions. So if we go through and treat this like a local road, it will function more like a local road and as a result, your traffic will improve. And what you'll see here right off the bat is that things are already getting better. So we could do that through the entire network and my guess is get our traffic closer to 90, maybe even 93, 94, 95% just by making targeted adjustments to our roadway network. There are other things you could do that might make a local road, uh, for instance, a one-way local road uh, in couplet function as a collector. And if you were to do that, you'd want to think about the number of roadway connections you have to that road. Um, maybe you want it to function as a local road. If that's the case, that's fine. But if you want that paired couplet to function as a collector, you need to make sure that you're not having uh, too many uh, access points and intersections on that local road. Um, so with that, I think that I've given a good overview of functional classification, roadway hierarchy, and how it impacts the game. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments, and if this is something, let me know if this is something that you use when you play the game. Um, it doesn't have to be gridded like this. I could have very well uh, taken a uh, a collector and tried to follow the landscape and built my neighborhoods off that and they would function the same way. I did this for simplicity's sake. Uh, but it works well. You'll notice that all utilities are functioning as they should be. And one of the reasons for that is functional class, roadway hierarchy, respecting the, uh, the purpose of the road ensuring that these uh, facilities are acting as they should. So even though you have intersections, they're still working right because we're using them correctly. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've learned a lot. And let me know down in the comments if you do indeed use roadway hierarchy principles. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.